Hi, I'm Tim Sales. This short clip is to answer a question or explain a misunderstanding on two issues in network marketing. Are the people at the top making most or all of the money? And do people who get in at the beginning make most or all of the money? I'll take up the first question. Are the people at the top making most or all of the money? Factually, the answer is yes. And it's also yes in Home Depot, Microsoft, Kodak, and every other business. In fact, try to name any company where the people at the bottom make most or all of the money. If you research corporate executives and owners' compensation of most companies, you'll see that only a few people at the top make the majority of the money. To give you the actual statistics, in the year 2006, the average U.S. worker worked an entire year, including weekends and no vacation time, to earn what the average CEO made in one day. That's according to the Associated Press survey of 386 Fortune 500 companies in 2006. The executives averaged $10.8 million in total annual compensation. At the same time, the average U.S. worker made $29,544. In every industry, only a few people earn most of the money. Another validation of this is in the 2005 U.S. Census report. Almost 70% of U.S. households earn under $25,000, while only 5.8% earn over $150,000. So only about 6% of all U.S. households earn over $150,000. But $150,000 is by no means the top earnings. According to the World Wealth Report by Merrill Lynch and Company, in the U.S. and Canada, there are approximately 30,000 people with investment assets of more than $30 million. Those 30,000 people who have more than $30 million represent only one hundredth of one percent of the total population. So clearly, only a few people make the majority of the money in every company, every industry, and even every country. So it is unfair and biased to look at the MLM or network marketing industry and claim it's flawed because the people at the top make most of the money when the same can be proven in every industry. I'm not giving you this information because I'm complaining that it's unfair. My suggestion would be to not complain about this. Instead, be one of the wealthy. People who complain that the people at the top are making most of the money are either justifying why they have quit trying to be one of the wealthy or justifying why they have never tried. The more important thing to examine is that network marketing compensation plans are designed to reward production. Do nothing, earn nothing. Do a little, earn a little. Do a lot, earn a lot. How else could you possibly compensate workers? Imagine if you and I started a company and we decided that whoever does the least production will make the most money. Would that work? No! That's the welfare system and it's proven not to work. MLM pays based on performance standards. If you perform to a certain standard, you earn whatever that standard or level pays. If you do nothing, you get nothing. If you do a little bit, you'll earn a little extra income. If you do a little bit more, you'll get a part-time income. If you do an enormous amount, you can create wealth. How many people will achieve the highest standard? However many perform to the standard. An MLM company, unlike traditional companies, puts no restrictions on anyone. An MLM company doesn't say we will only allow 10 people to earn the top level. They don't look at the college you attended or if you attended one or not and decide what you will be paid. They don't look at your salary from your previous job and use that as the basis of what they'll pay you, as most employers do. An MLM company doesn't even look at what experience you have or don't have. Whoever meets the required performance standards enjoy the benefits of that standard. That is the most fair compensation structure there could possibly be. Let's move on to question number two. Do the people who get in at the beginning make most or all of the money? In what business does this not happen in? Only one that I know of, and I'll share it with you in just a second. If you work for a traditional company, didn't the owners get in before you? Aren't they earning money off what you do? 
in the stock market if you buy a stock at 20 and sell it at 30 are you not making money off the people who bought the stock after you did if you buy a house for two hundred fifty thousand dollars and sell it for three hundred thousand dollars are you not making money off the person who bought it after you did one of the only industries that i'm aware of that anyone can come in later and make more money than those who came in earlier is the network marketing industry. To prove my point, there are people in my organization, meaning in my downline, that came in over a year later than me that make more money than I do. Isn't that odd to you? In fact, I have not been able to find one network marketing company where the first distributor to join the company makes the most money. Doesn't this fact fly in the face of those who say that only the people who get in at the beginning make more money? The truth of the matter is that people who earn more money than me in my organization should earn more. They're obviously being more productive at moving products to consumers than I am. So the statement, the people who get in at the beginning make most or all of the money, is true in most industries, but only true in network marketing if that person who got in earlier continues to be more productive than the people who came in later. The facts are any person can come into network marketing at any time and earn more income than anyone in the company. Is this true in traditional business? Absolutely not. So the statement, people who get in at the beginning make most or all of the money, is factually false. This is provable in my business and it's provable in every network marketing company I've looked at. I hope this video clip helps you to separate the facts from the myths. I'm Tim Sales.